Well, it's that time of the month again. It's time for our monthly viewer book review feature. For September, we have invited one of our bookworm viewers, Refila Matobisa, who emailed us a picture of herself holding one of her favorite reads, a book by debut author Meshak Mate, titled Drowning in Own Tears. Well, Refila joins me now in studio uh, to tell us more uh, about this offering and why she chose it. Refila, thank you so much for joining us and a uh, warm welcome to Morning Live. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm actually glad that you came and, uh, you know, to share with us your reviews of this this particular book how did you hear about this book and what was it about it that appealed to you and hence you decided to to buy and read it okay it was actually a recommendation from a friend mm -hmm. and at the time I was actually going through something so this is what I do when I go through something I actually read really you know? because what I do is I distract myself with reading does it help though it does a lot really? you know because you get to not think of stuff you just dwell into the book and right. then you forget about everything that you go through so at work a friend of mine was like no but the, he was reading it and I, I got to look at it and I was like oh you're reading something mm. can I have because at the time I think I was actually as well drowning in my own tears we'll and I was like no it's fine you know what can I can I have it and it's like no actually the author is a friend so we'll talk to him and then I the, the I think the book got delivered to me the following day uh -huh. and I started reading it okay and then while reading it I came across myself and I was like, oh, wow, good timing because, hence it I said, a personal resonance exactly, with you, exactly, right? exactly, because it was like, okay, at least this was actually the right timing to deal with whatever that has been there from the past and this book is actually going to bring it to the fore. Mm. And then I read it and then, yeah, that came up and I was like, okay. Okay. These so, things actually happen in our society. They do, actually. Yeah. And, uh, and which section of the book uh, really did heal you in whatever way? I, I, don't think, I don't think it healed me in a way, but it just brought the fact that I'm not the only one that has actually gone through that. A whole lot of people have. Mm. So it, I haven't healed from it because even that character hasn't healed still okay. do you know instead she, she's drowning at the end of the book with, in her own tears still even after everything that she's gone through so personally i don't think it, it, it's a healing book it, it just it just you know brings things to the fore so you actually look at it and like oh okay mm. yeah i've gone through that and and what like it's, it's a book about a family that like many family mm -hmm. that that lives in gatle home Okay. And then the father's a teacher, the mother just works at a supermarket, and they're raising two kids with Usipo and Zotwa. But then the father loves Usipo more, I, I don't know because he's a boy child or, or whatever, but I, I don't understand his reasons. But he's instilling his own beliefs on, 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 on Sipo because he's a boy. Yeah. And so uh, the assumption of the society is that this is, a, this is actually a good family. From the outside, you know, society always makes assumptions from the surface. Sure. And this is actually the most troubled family that you can actually think of. And when, when I read through the book, because I, I, I felt at some point in my life that my, my mom's favorite at home was my brother. You know what I mean? So I, and reading that and I was like, okay, so this happens in these households. It's, it's normal yeah. that parents would actually choose a one, one child and... But I got to ask my mother because I'm like that. I don't let things slide. I, I, I want to find out what's going on. And I was like, but I realized that you love my brother more than you love me. <laughs> but it was so vivid that you had to ask, you know? Mm. It, was, it was always in your face to a point that they would actually go into the little corner and have their conversation. And you're thinking, sure. but I'm here, guys. Am I that invisible? Yeah. And then later, I think when, when, when I got to heal and everything, I sat her down. I was like, but mom, I realized this thing has been going on. What's going on? And then... She was like, no, but your brother is more weaker than you are. I'm like, girl, <laughs> child, how do you even say that? But you know, it actually helped me in so many ways because I, I got to fight my own battle, even when I had a brother, but I got to. So I think, I think parents have a way of identifying their kids, much as it hurts, but I think, I think it also helped me because... I'm a strong black woman. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a that I can pick. That I can pick. You know, in as much as the book did not heal you quite significantly in a way that uh, you would have hoped it would have healed you, but I guess it uh, re-emphasizing the it re-emphasizes the importance of uh, speaking out, speaking to people, reading books, uh, doing research. I mean, you get to discover some of the things about you that you would you wouldn't otherwise have known. Have known. You yeah. know what I mean? So a bit of a it's, it's okay because I, I, I got to actually look at myself and like, oh, wow. You know, it helped right, me, like you said, right. it helped me in, in that manner. And then it goes on to actually now again 
talk about certain things that happen in our society. Like the family, like I said, people assume that they're a good family, the father's a teacher and everything. Mm. But they didn't even realize that their own kids are sleeping together in their own home. Sure. To a point they have a child together. Uh -huh. The father have a, have a child outside marriage with some woman whom Sipo sleeps with later in life and have a child. So siblings are having children together. And we know how in, 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 in African culture, grannies and every family home has, has a secret that grandmother has known Umalume has a child with. You know, such, it, it brings such, such issues that society actually not 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 talking about and i think we need to get to a point where we like sitting down and like as a, as, as a society that these things have been happening there is nothing because right now i suppose with social media everything is coming up I know, but then I but know. then but then when when this girl goes to approach the grandmother and says but i just found out who my father is as mr Tlamin, who's the teacher and the grandmother's like no i've always known <laughs> like what what how, how, would, how? You, would you recommend this book and um, to whom and what is it about it that they would take away from this book? Okay, firstly, they would, I'd, I'd recommend it to people, that, to, to high school kids. Okay. It, 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 it would help them in, in, in being motivated because Sipo was a motivated child. Yes, yes. And then also to the elders to realize that these things of theirs, of secrets, it actually breeds an, a very angry society. Rafila, thank Achim. you so much for your time. Eh? We really appreciate it. Thank you so what much. What a brilliant for review. Eh? I'm sold already. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually read it as well. So, yeah, it's yeah. in my bucket list. I'll, I'll, I'll give it, what, out of 10? Six would do. Six out of 10. That's uh, not bad. Eh? That's not bad that's at not all. That's not bad enough. All right, Rafila, thank you. Well, if you also want to join us on this show for our monthly viewer book review feature, all you have to do is to send us some of the books that you're currently reading or have read. Email, Instagram, or tweet us a picture and the relevant caption of your pick of the week must read for 2018. Your current read and the one you're hoping was going to be great but turned out to be rather disappointing. Use our Twitter handle at MorningLiveSAPC, hashtag MorningLiveSAPC. On Facebook, we are MorningLiveSAPC. Instagram us using at MorningLiveSAPC. And our email address is at MorningLiveSAPC.co.za. Let's go for coffee.